Hi everybody, this is Dale. Welcome to my channel, Not Too Shabby Chic. If you're new or old or in between, been here a long time, been here a short time, no matter what your age or length of time on YouTube, welcome. And I am excited to be with you. And I hope that if you are not subscribed to my channel, you will do so. I have a lot of fun things going on and I would like to share them with you. Um, as you begin to watch my videos. I've got some, an upcoming challenge that I will be hosting very soon. And um, I am also doing a challenge as a co-host with MG Reyes and Journal Gigi Hana. And it is an altered paperclip challenge. So I encourage you to check that out. And um, I will link MJ's channel below and Journal Gigi Hana's channel below so that you can check them out. I would encourage you to subscribe to their channels. You will not be disappointed. They are amazing women who have so much creativity to share and are so sweet and kind. So let's get busy with hashtag thrifted treasures. The last episode, which I aired um, Monday, I for thought I finished. I found a bag that I didn't show you yet. So I wanted to hop on and show it to you so I can take it up with all my other stuff and begin to put it away. First, Noni the Christmas Deer, Reindeer. I gave one of these to my friend Tammy. It's Texas Sweet Tea Treasures, I think, and I found another one. So I was super excited to find it. It is a Rand McNally Junior Elf book, and she collects those, and I like just because it's Santa and small. This is 1979, so a wonderful little Christmas story. So that's awesome. Also, so you know, this is an open collab. Anybody can join in to share what you've obtained from your thrifty hunting, uh, what treasures you found, whatever they might be, wherever you got them, it doesn't matter. All you have to do is type in hashtag thrifted treasures or you can use hashtag thrifty finds. And please link my channel. Some people kind of forget to do that. So I would appreciate if you link my channel in your description box as well. Um, I will be starting the first of the year. It's just going to take me a minute to link people's channels who are participating each week. Um, and so, so that will be upcoming. Please check everyone out. You can do a search for hashtag thrifted treasures and see what everybody else has gotten. Now, I got a gingerbread little um, cookie thing that I think will be cute in a journal or a part of my tassel. These wonderful um, little ornaments will be great to hang from pages and they will not cause a lot of bulk because they are, they're kind of little metal pieces. This is the, this is Noah's Ark. That's interesting for a Christmas ornament, huh? There's one missing, so we've got a reindeer, an angel, a carousel horse, Christmas tree, partridge in a pear tree, the sleigh, the bells, a teddy bear with a candy cane, a snowman, and the only oddball is Noah's Ark. Don't know what that one was. So this will be fun to put on my journals. Ignore the price. <laughs> I may or may not have paid that. I don't remember. This is adorable. This is a pot holder, but it is a gingerbread man, and this will be adorable on a cover of one of my Christmas journals. Got to wash it because somebody used it, and it still has some food on it. Isn't it cute? The holly on the back, or I could just put it in there somehow. You will just have to wait and see. I'm beginning to love gingerbreads more and more every year. The last two Christmases, I've done gingerbread journals. This is a little girl dress, and it was so cheap. And I love corduroy. And with the fall leaves, I can use that as a belly band. With Look at the little buttons. And I can use this ruffle. Look at the rickrack. I love corduroy. So this will be great to use as a journal cover. And this little blouse that came with it will be great fabric. I like it. It's cotton. And the little sleeve ruffle here would be a cute little pocket. The gathers here, just, just adorable. So I can use this as part of journal covers or in my journals. So I love that little dress. 
Then I got the, these very vintage boxes. Um, there was a whole stack, and I think I got them for 29 cents. Not sure exactly. So it's this kind of a box, a little flat box. I guess you could put a gift card or jewelry or something in it, but I can just cut it up and use it in my journals. Won't that be adorable? And I got quite a few. So I may be sharing some of these with you. Then I got this adorable for 29 cents, this little towel. It's supposed to be a towel. Is that not adorable? You hang it on your um, kitchen cabinet door um, or on your door door, I guess you could. Eek. But happy holiday. Isn't that sweet? And it is very vintage, so I'm excited to get that too. I got this sweet ginger ginger girl. Isn't she adorable? She's all sparkly. I think she was 99 cents. I love her with the little candies for her cheeks. Is that not a good idea? I love her. She's so sweet. Then I've been wanting to do a Raggedy Ann and Andy journal for for a couple years. And then I was gifted one from the sweet Tammy at Texas Sweet Tea Treasures that I shared with you guys. I'll never be able to top that. But I am still going to do one because I've always wanted to. I found this Raggedy Andy's Treasure Hunt book. A telltale book. Is that not cute? And it has some wonderful little pictures in it that I thought would be great in my journal. The copyright date is 1973. And if I don't use the pictures, I might just put the whole book in there as part of my journal. Isn't this sweet? Some adorable pictures. And I can use Tammy's journal that she gifted me as inspiration because it is absolutely amazing. And if you've not seen that journal, you need to go to my channel and watch it. It is fabulous. I did it on a hashtag Friendship Friday or Friendship Any Day just uh, last week, I believe. And you don't know what you're missing if you've not seen it. So that was a fun find. And then I got these bells. It's already shaped. So if I do a Christmas recipe type journal, this looks like grapes, doesn't it? Won't that be cute as part of a tassel hanging from a journal? And if I don't want to do that, it's just wired all together. I can take it apart. But I love that. Then I got this adorable little um, cutting board. And I thought this would be cute hanging off a journal as part of a tassel. I do weird stuff. Or in a journal or on the cover. It is adorable. Or I can use it in my kitchen. So sweet. I got all this fabric. And I have not opened this fabric yet to see exactly what it is. But I liked that it was a script and cream and black right up my alley. This was uh, 99 cents for this piece. There's um, a couple of pieces here and they're pretty good size. Isn't that awesome? So yeah, I liked. Oh, sorry. I just jerked you guys. Hope you don't have whiplash. <laughs> so that is the fabric detail. Let me get this up a little and put you back. Then I have this is amazing. 99 cents. Look, 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 look. I was giddy. This is embroidered. And I'm not sure which is the front and which is the back. I think maybe this is the back. And this is the front. Isn't this, maybe it was done by machine. I don't know. But isn't it gorgeous? This will be awesome on a cover of a journal. Isn't that beautiful? Ah, so excited to get that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, I was. I love polka dots. So this was 49 cents for some gray polka dot fabric, and it feels like cotton. So 
so fun for 49 cents. I got a good yard of that. Fun, fun. And I got this beautiful patchwork looking 80s material. This was 99 cents. And I got a bunch of it. So look out isn't that cute this would be cute for a country christmas journal this would be cute for a farmhouse or a cookbook just all kinds of things valentine's isn't it beautiful i love it and i could even stitch on some of this to really make it pop i love this fabric i was so excited i have this um was 99 cents and this is a type of muslin, I think. I think this was part of a shirt or something, actually, or an apron. But I love this type of fabric. And uh, it'll be great to stamp on. And I'll be coffee dyeing it, probably. So, great stuff. I have this vintage. And I think a lot of this is vintage, actually. This was... 49 cents and look at these poinsettias and the pine cones and what do you call pomegranates and such isn't this gorgeous beautiful and it still has the sizing in it isn't that gorgeous absolutely beautiful I love it vintage and I've told you guys that and, and I promise you're going to see it eventually I'm going to do a cowgirl journal well, I was looking, and in that material, lo and behold, pink, can you believe it, cowgirl. This can't be for a cowboy, I don't think. Look, look, there's gun holsters in pink, hats in pink, horseshoes, that says cowgirl right there, the saddle, the guitar, the boots, I mean, perfect. God was just guiding me right to that bin because <laughs> i this may be my cover i don't know isn't that adorable if not i'll use it to make tags and things isn't that awesome see if people try to tell you that god is not concerned about the details of your life they don't know god because i'm telling you he does I didn't pray for this or ask for this. The Bible says he'll give you the desires of your heart. He does that when you're following him and you love him and you serve him. And this may seem little to a lot of people, and it is, but it tickled me to death to know that he guided me to that. And he loves me that much to care about that for me. So, my friends, that is the end of the rest of the haul, unless I come across more but I believe that's it so thank you for joining in remember you are loved so very much God loves you and so do I and I'll see you in the next video bye bye